Hi, this is Axel again. Welcome to episode two of our new um, tutorial uh, series about how to create a blogging application. In the first part, we cr just created a, a very simple data model for a blog posts, created a, um, uh, some, some demo and example content and created the first page to display um, the content of a blog post. Um, in the second episode, we will see how to create a list page, an overview page, um, which um, displays um, yeah, a list of blog posts with a link to an individual blog post and maybe to how to apply a filter. And this is the first time where we will use database queries. Um, yeah, so let's start right away. And as I promised uh, in the, at, the, at the end of the last tutorial, um, we will now start with an import of the entire application definition, how it was at the end of the, of the first tutorial. So I just cleaned up a little bit um, in the system, removed uh, an example page, uh, exported it to um, the local file system, created a zip file uh, from it, uploaded the zip file to our website. And now let's switch to the um, larger browser view now we start with importing that zip file into structure so structure will um yeah this application will be deployed to this uh, otherwise empty uh instance um i will just uh check everything here like the pages are clean no files are in it the schema is empty and also the data is um, completely empty so go back we go, we're going back to the dashboard and enter or paste the url of the zip file here in this into this input field and click on import from url and now structure just downloads and extracts this archive and deploys the application to this server instance and after the reload now we see there's a blog or our blog post page as it was um, at the end of the, the last tutorial. Um, here are some files which were imported by the importer. We imported a template from uh, from the Internet and that created these um, folders and files in the system. And there's also our blog post um, type with a note and what of course is missing are our example data. So I will cr just create a new um, <clears throat> or the same as last in the last tutorial text and a title um, and to go, uh, we need the the UUID of this um, blog post here, let's see. Um, here it is, the ID. Go to the pages, um, enter it in the preview settings dialog, and this should display our page. And we can also open that in another, in a separate browser tab. So this is actually what we did um, during the last uh, doing the first tutorial video now now let's create um, an overview page so again we look for in, on the internet look for a um, nice looking HTML page which serves as as a template <clears throat> simple blog um, template bootstrap um, Let's see, that's another one. Mm. This was the blog post for a single article and this is the blog home. So this time, here's a list of blog posts. Ah, that's looking nice. Copy the URL, input that into, or paste it into um, this field make it visible to public and authenticated users and import the page um, now we import the second page um, which uses the same um, the same bootstrap library and css files so it will match 
the um, uh, the look and feel of our blog post details page. Now, let's see. We have this is this is the element which is repeated for each blog post. So let's identify that in the tree, and it seems that this is um, this diff element. So again, we remove everything mm, but the first one here. And now there's something special and new in this episode. We apply uh, or we, we create a repeater from a database query so that for each blog post in the database, uh, an individual element here with all the content from the blog post will be displayed. So we go into the properties dialog uh, to the query and data binding. This is a very important section. Here we have five different options to define a query. Um, it depends completely on um, how the query uh, or how complicated or how complex the, the query is. For simple uh, use cases, you can just write a function like find blog post as the type. And this will return a list of blog posts, save it. And now we have to define a data key. This is a, a word, a term, which references a single instance of a blog post found in the database. Um, let's say we call it post. Now the data of each blog post find by this, found by this query is um, um, bound to this post word. And now we replace, for example, that blog the static text saying post title by um, post dot title and we see again happy birthday comes up um, notice that in this case when we um, uh, open the preview or um, the, this blog home page in the preview tab we don't have to append the UUID because this is a list page an overview page which has its own database query defined. Um, so we just can address it by its name. So this should display the text and we replace it by post.text. And that's it. Um, now, what happens if we create one more blog post here? like for example, new release of structure. Yeah, of course, if I go again to the preview page, we have now two blog posts here. It's a list and um, the individual content of these two blog post entries are displayed. Now, what about um, sorting? I can easily um, sort it by an attribute. Just surround the, the function to find all my blog posts by a sort function. For example, I sort by the title attribute. Um, save it and you will see it um, it is sorted by title. It makes no difference, of course. But if I uh, now add a new blog post with the title something well, um, like this. And I go back to the preview page. I get the first blog post here because it's sorted alphanumerically. Um, by the title attribute, I get the first blog post here. Okay, so that was um, basically the um, what I wanted to show you here. So just to, to sum up a little bit, we imported the second page, which, which serves as an overview or a list page. We created a first database query. It's a very simple function query, which finds 
all blog posts in the database and sorts them by the title attribute. Each individual result, query result from the database is mapped to the post data key. Um, this is a word which um, yeah, can be any word um, which uh, is, makes sense to you. This is no, there, there's no special meaning. Um, and we use this post um, keyword to reference um, a single instance in the loop or yeah, in the loop over all these elements in the database. Um, yeah, next in the next video, we will probably add a search functionality uh, which filters the uh, blog posts by the, the, the input from the user. Okay, so um, that was it for the second tutorial. Um, as always, if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. If you have questions or suggestions, um, leave us a comment in the um, comment section, subscribe our channel and yeah, have fun uh, replaying this demo. And uh, you can also find the um, um, a zip file where we, um, which contains the whole, the entire definition of the application as it is right now. Um, in the description of this video and you can just download it and start from here with the next tutorial. Okay, stay tuned, have fun, bye bye.